in which I now serve as ranking member, the majority has scheduled three hearings on the middle class and job growth. I'm concerned about the middle class. But the first one asked the question of whether the American dream is slipping out of reach. I made the point then that I'm repeating today. The American dream starts with a job. The focus on pay, benefits, and organizing does nothing to create a job. We're going to have another one of those hearings next week. I'm not sure where it's going. We haven't proposed any legislation yet. We're just getting press. Doesn't get jobs. And uh, stalling the growth of domestic energy production industry or increasing the regulatory burden on American businesses doesn't increase jobs either. An unelected, unconfirmed general counsel at a small agency is getting in the way of a business management decision that does create jobs. And neither does blocking free trade agreements with our partners around the globe. The American dream is not out of reach. But it is suffering from needless hand-slapping threats. Those could be changed to hand-clapping progress. But this administration has to stop getting in the way of job creation so that Americans have jobs. I yield the floor. Mr. President. The Senator from Texas. Mr. President, last month the Medicare trustees warned that Medicare